If you really like Loki and you want to tell us what what, please do. Yeah, I'd really love tell to hear. Tell us. I'd love to hear a tell fan. Tell me why I'm stupid. Why this exposition dump walk around please. the universe is, is is worth a damn. I mean, yeah, do it. I'm totally saying rip me a new one. Tell me why I'm wrong. Hi, welcome back to Panda Reacts. I'm Sandra and this is Ken. Hi. And Ham. And we're back with Loki season one. Mm -hmm. And uh, so last time, uh, Loki uh, went on the hunt for the, the uh, phantom Loki. Mm -hmm. And it was a lady. Yeah. It was a lady. Which leads me to my conspiracy theory. How long is it going to be before Owen Wilson starts kissing girl Loki? I'm just saying. When was Owen Wilson ever a romantic figure in a show? I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. It's going to happen. I'm not recalling that. No, it's not. <laughs> As I said earlier when Never you agrees. brought this up, <laughs> Marvel movies and shows don't tend to focus on a romance. Like, yeah, sure, Iron Man had his lady and yeah. Thor had her lady and so Spider-Man has his lady. Yeah, but there's no like, it's not the center of the story. It's not like, oh, I have to be with her at all costs. Like, yeah, she shows up, blah, blah. But there's usually yeah. another storyline. It's not um, completely based on romance. I think that would be that would be stupid. hilarious. No, no, it would be <laughs> stupid. Uh, and you know that. That's why you're bringing it up, because it's stupid. <laughs> um, so basically, girl Loki uh, destroyed a whole whack of timelines. <laughs> she bombed she tons did. of timelines. Loki said, oh, join me and we'll, um, we'll take over the... Together we'll rule the universe. Yeah, the, well, the time, the time people. <laughs> and she was yeah. like, that's not my TV. goal. I'm like, okay. And then she ran through a uh, time portal door. Mm -hmm. And then Loki was being chased because they didn't see the girl Loki who went into multiple different bodies, mm -hmm. beat him up and stuff. And he ran through the door. Yeah. So did they run through the door? Did the door close? How come it was still open after she went through it? Uh, how long does the door stay open? This is a question I have just for plots, circumstances, or... If, like, oh. is it actually realistic? Well, the plot <laughs> needs it to happen, so that makes it realistic. <laughs> this is a Marvel show, after all. It really doesn't matter whether it's realistic no, or not. No, I mean, it's like... It's whether the plot requires this MacGuffin to appear at this time and do what it needs to do. Does he go through the... Like, how long does the portal stay open, is my question. Is it, a, is it always a set time? Or... I don't know. I don't know. But... Don't worry about the science. Loki... <laughs> Loki only also figured out that um, that girl Loki was only going to places where big catastrophes happened yeah. so that they, she wouldn't be discovered if she did something because it wouldn't show up as an anomaly. Yeah, the big thing with... A deviant or whatever, a variant. Yeah, so they went to Pompeii and then they went to this stuff. They narrowed a time frame down because she had... This certain candy that she given to this boy in, in uh, Tudor times, and basically that's how they figured it out. So I think that's kind of where we're at. Um, I guess we'll see what happens next. Let's go. I'm being serious. So it permeates the roof of your mouth. Yeah. And it freezes the synapses in your brain, so your memories are literally frozen in place. No, that's not true. No, that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right, the one she stole. Yeah, the one she was just mel mm -hmm. brain melding like Spock. Yeah. That seems to be staying open there while she's away. Yeah, I think it has a time limit. What has she got going on with her fingers? She's not quite the Mary Sue there, considering... Oh! 
how clumsy Loki has been throughout this show. Yeah, he just got through, see? That's what I'm saying. That's why it stayed open, because he's still coming through. I don't understand how that Loki can be so super potent, powerful, and yet this Loki is completely... Well, there was the, the Loki that had all the, all the muscles and stuff. Every Loki seems to be different. Come any closer and I'll kill him. Go for it. Why would they care? Whoa! Oh! Is that one of your powers? Where did you send us? Oh, crap. Bombardment. Something's happening. Momentous one. Mm. Sounds like a charming it's place to visit. another planet. Guess we're doing a bit of a Hobbit exposition walk. Brute force is no substitute for diplomacy and guile. Noted. Whoa! Ooh, she's not messing around. It's remarkable that you've ever made it as far as you did. Beautiful as I nice try, Loki. Sure she was your mother. <laughs> no, not actually. I was adopted. Thank you for you. Sorry about that. I knew I was adopted. What? They told you. Yeah. Did they not tell you? No. What was that? Love is love is hate. Oh, piss off. <laughs> <laughs> Loki drunk? What's he up? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yep. He's been drinking too much. Oh no! They don't know that. No. Ten minutes? How are you gonna get there in ten minutes? That's really far away. Uh oh. Oh, oh lord! That's definitely not a good thing. Whoa! Half of a the planet cracked itself in half. Uh oh. Oh. Uh. Not on it now. <laughs> well, that sucks. Okay, well, the arc just exploded. All right, that was episode three. And I'm just like, what is happening? There was more walking than the Hobbit in this one. <laughs> uh, so my theory is that Loki is going to fall in love with his Loki self. <laughs> There's going to be the romances between Loki and Loki. Yes, it totally is. So, yeah. So, so her name is Sylvie because she didn't want to be called Loki. They ended up at the TVA. Yep, trying to, like, execute her plan years her in the making, which seemed to be just take out everybody who's walking around. And, uh, then what they... is her mission? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's her plan? We don't know really what her plan yeah. is because then they end up going through um, a the time door and then they themselves. ended up on a planet that was... Well, basically, she's got it this temp pad timed for all the catastrophes. This one's the worst. So she's on this one planet where... another. Oh, no, she's on the moon, which an, a planet is going to crash into. And uh, so everyone will die. And uh, there's spo we're supposed to be an arc, but this arc was supposed to explode, which it did. So I'm really confused right now. Yep, so it looks like they're at the point that they're not getting off this rock. Well, then what will happen? Like, I think what I will happen... I thought Loki's immortal. How can he actually die? I think they'll have... I think they'll be located in some ways by... That's what I was thinking. The elements of the TVA who will show up just in time. To grab them. And grab them off this rock before it gets destroyed yeah because so so loki took the the temp pad and he was running low on juice so they were going to like juice it up so she was all like well we got to find a power source but the house that they went to to find the power source 
the lady was like, get lost. And she like, she like slammed them back with her sweet gun thing. And then, uh, then they got on a train with, to, to the Ark because it would have the most power. Um, and then they were thrown off the train because Loki was drinking too much champagne or whatever it was. Yep. And uh, ended up changing his uniform so he wasn't dressed in the correct way. They asked for tickets. He didn't have them. So they started a fight, but he was winged out the door. And then she <laughs> was like, well, I got to go. Um, get that temp get pad the, Yeah, he still has the temp pad. But in the process of him being yeeted out of the thing, <laughs> yeah. he ended up rolling all over the ground. And the temp pad was destroyed. So now they're like, well, now what do we do? And then she was like, well, Loki had a theory that they had never been on the Ark. Therefore, if they go on the Ark, the fate of the Ark might be changed. Which was not working because they didn't get on the Ark. And it was the planet story. split like flipping in half. And a whole bunch more rocks came down. The Ark was destroyed. No one was getting off. So basically, they ended their time in that way. Yep. And we're like, what? just happened like are they what is happening right now and they would there was a lot of walking and a lot of talking there was a lot of exposition dump mm-hmm uh, and ken was like good there's a fight yeah, exactly <laughs> like, what <laughs> i was like i'm dying with the uh with the long a lot drawn of explaining exposition and the long like and the slow pacing here are just like let's pick it up a bit yeah, we needed to Let's pick Marvel up a bit more. Let's Marvel movie this a little bit more. Sorry, Loki. A little bit less of, you know, Come on. of the Hobbit trilogy here and a little bit more of like, you know, let's just uh, let's let's hit hit this a little bit harder. I feel like like and I want it to prove me wrong cuz there's actually only 6 episodes of Loki. So we're halfway through. Well, there's yeah. only 3 more. I guess they're going to have to get their ass in gear here if they're going to get some action <laughs> before the end of this thing. So like I just have a theory that while I was watching it, I came across my brain. Who wrote this? <laughs> like, who wrote this? Yep. And and then I thought of Picard. <laughs> and I thought, who wrote that? Yep. What is going on where you take a, a glorious character that everybody knows and you give it a weird storyline? Like... Well, first of all, they'd like, you know... What is going on? The major problem with this show is it just completely destroys the in, the entire, like, arc of every single Marvel Every universe, Marvel movie. Marvel Universe movie up till now. Oh, it's... You know, nothing means anything. It's a kind of, like, nihilistic, postmodern... Because you've got all tragic these... Tragic look on things. All these you know? time frame or alternate universe people. So if Thor only, is one way in one universe, he's a different in another universe. It's like, But not the, the only thing that matters is this supposed, you know, sacred timeline and, and these... <laughs> and these <laughs> I'm confused. And these stupid fascist space lizards that are like making everything, you know, go according to their, to their version of what the appropriate timeline is. Yeah, yeah, so what did the space lizards write the book of, of what's supposed to happen? And if it doesn't this, go that way, they whole, like... And why are there so many different timelines if... It means Isn't that, there supposed to be just one? Well, it means, it means that every choice means nothing, essentially. You know, if everything <laughs> is predestined, yeah. then every choice, every sacrifice, every loss, everything that's happened in any of the Marvel stories means nothing because there's a predestined timeline that's going to, yeah. that has to happen. What? Uh. I'm very confused by this. Um, there was no Owen Wiss. Okay, so we, we got to see that Sylvie is able to basically Spock read people's Mind heads people, yeah. and create a universe where they tell them their secrets. My mind to your mind. And Loki <laughs> seems to have a bunch of abilities that outstrip this chick. Well, finally, she taught like, it you know, to herself. Finally, he got to stop being a bungling idiot like he's been at every yeah. stage of the first three episodes here. You know, he finally got to be a little bit more like Loki. 
you know. I'm going to find out. Who write... Okay, who is this dude? I need to see. Don't. Well, if you read ahead to make spoil things. No, I don't think it will. Don't do it. I just want to know what else the writer has done. Okay, just so I can like... Look at the... I'm not going to look at that. I'm just going to find the writer. I'd like to know what he what he's oh, done yeah. when he wasn't high. <laughs> Go to get high. Okay, well, he wrote on Community, which, by the way, is super funny. Um, well, he was an assistant writer. I have not heard. I've heard of Rick and Morty. Okay, he's won an Emmy for Outstanding Animated Program, Ricky, Rick and Morty. I've never heard of Heels or Good Game or Harmon Quest. But I'm telling you, dude, what is going on? You're high. <laughs> Obviously. You're super <laughs> high, yo. There's a lot of uh, name Michael Waldron game. is the name of the head writer for Loki. Um, I have not heard of him. Um, but... I was just checking to see if he wrote Picard. I just was. I wanted to see. I wanted that that connection to, or like, the we've had a really hard time with shows lately, and like mm -hmm. wanting to really love a show and then, and it just not quite managing to do it. Just not, you know. I'm just not feeling it with Loki. I mean, I'll watch the whole first season, and because like. Some episode, like the last episode, I liked. There's so much you can do with Loki, and I feel like, I feel like they are not taking advantage of it. Uh, I'm I'm disappointed so far. Uh, I really want to like Loki. I love Tom Hiddleston. I want to like Loki. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what we have. Here, I really want to like Loki. What we have here is actually like. Competent actors let down by uh -huh. by weak plots Picard. and and kind of poor you know poor writing. Like Just that's... in case you haven't watched Picard. Oh, how did that Picard? <laughs> how did that you piece take of shit get a season two? Patrick Stewart, <laughs> an amazing actor, who was able to create a captain that people loved so much. That he, he rivals Kirk, okay? Like, mm -hmm. in the universe of captains, people will be will argue Picard versus Kirk. Mm -hmm. No other captain, because who really cares? But those are the two captains. So, like, the dude raised the bar. And you just turn him into an, an Alzheimer-y old geezer who's hopeless and pathetic <sighs> and sad and incompetent. And, it hurts my mind. And everybody's, everybody around him is kind of just either humoring him people? or telling him to sit down and shut up. I know his you know. friends are like so stupid and oh, I don't know I can't even and then he yeah I just don't That's, we don't even want to get into the other characters no so, I'm not going you know, season two is done. not happening for me murdery android the... you know what they should have done they should have made like young Loki or like it, they, it wouldn't have Tom Hiddleston but go back to when Loki and Thor were like growing up that would be cool you could use that that would be fun premise. I'm just putting that out there. I don't think there's enough potential with Loki to create a series. He's comic relief and he's Thor's foil. Yeah. And on his own, I don't think he stands. Um, it, within the Marvel Universe, he's like Q in Star Trek. Like... The guy comes in. He's so awesome stirs because he some, plays against stirs Picard. Up some crap, upsets some people. But Q on his own as a whole show, yeah. nah, that wouldn't fly. So that's just where well, I'm let's at. Just, let's just wait and see when Q <laughs> shows up in Picard season two, because you know damn well that's happening. <sighs> no, John Delancey, don't do it. It's happening. It's already on. It's it's happening. <laughs> Oh, God, I don't know. wreck Q. They, it's true. It's no! Happening. I'm not lying. It's happening. Uh, yeah. I can't. I know. They put it out there. Ugh. I can't. I think we just ragged on Loki hardcore. <laughs> and like Picard, sorry to people who are really loving Loki. You know, please tell us why. Well, give tell the... us why in the comments, because I'm just not feeling it. Mm -hmm. I'm... I'm going with it, just like I'm watching The Stand for the first season. Like, after the first season, I'm not watching it again. 
because I've given it my all. I've given it my chance. I'm giving Loki the full six episode chance. It'll probably be renewed. <laughs> so everything is these days. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, How bad do you gotta suck to get canceled these days? <laughs> Jeez. Well, some shows don't even get to, like, even start. Like, even Walking Dead, the world beyond got a second season out of this. They call it the final season. Like, nobody cared about that stupid <laughs> offshoot in the first season. Oh, my God. Well. Who cares about a bunch of kids wandering around the zombie apocalypse, finding their, I having, think, having puberty attacks. I think I know why <laughs> our views are so low on Loki. Because people are like, these people suck. They don't like Loki. <laughs> Yeah, we don't really like it, but we're watching it. Um, the, yep. We watched Westworld season three. Yeah, we toughed it out for three we seasons on that one. We just that one up. <laughs> yep. God, that hurt. We're still bitter. <laughs> that hurts so much. Anyway, if you like our videos, please subscribe and leave us a comment. If you really like Loki and you want to tell us what what, please do. Yep, I'd really love tell to hear. Tell us. I'd love to hear a tell fan. Tell me why I'm stupid. Why this exposition dump walk around please. the universe is, is is worth a damn. I mean, yeah, do it. I'm totally saying rip me a new one. Tell me why I'm wrong. And uh, until next time. <laughs> Bye.